So it looks like Quick Time is working. Let's go to our investigation. I got lots of stars as you can see right here. Now let's unlock this new chapter. Captain Jackman, sir, there's a, a, a prostitute who claims she's got info about Ed's killer. A prostitute? I bet it's Ginger. With luck, she can tell she can give us a physical description of her culprit. She says she saw them throw their gun into, into the river in front of Doctor Teen. King wants you to, to have a look there. Oh, and sir, sir, Harry Landry wants also wants to speak with you. Let's talk with these guys. And also, since I'm now using Quick Time, you can actually see the actual gameplay. Let's go with the first person on our list. I heard you've been talking to Zeus and Martinez. I hope, I hope you didn't trust uh, the word they said. Why? What do you think they told us? I, I don't know, but I know they're tight. They'd say anything just to make us look bad. Look, I don't want you to forget who the criminals are. That's all. He seemed a bit nervous. Hmm, I wonder what that was about, and whether we should trust Harry or our suspects. Anyway, we must keep moving. They'll reopen the subway station to public soon. Care to have one last look at it? Yeah, let's do that after we talk with Ginger, the, the prostitute. Captain Jackman, I don't think you've met Ginger. She's an old friend, always ready to help. You bet I am gorgeous. As soon as I heard the gunshots in the subway yesterday, I knew I could keep my eyes peeled. I knew to keep my eyes peeled. Some guy came in running a sec running out a second later, straight for the river. Only had time to notice his eyes. You know, I have a weak spot for blue eyes. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, our killer is a man. And he's got blue eyes. Thanks for your help, Ginger. It won't be forgotten. Really want to do something about this sensitive mouse. Let's do this one. Before the subway is open again. I wonder where this is going to save to. And there is the clue. And again. But that's not a clue, unfortunately. That kind of sucks. What'd you find? A bank ticket? Look, Jacqueline, I know we were just for police, but picking up random trash, seriously? Really? It's not random trash. You gotta ask me in. You gotta ask me in a board on it, Jones. Now I'll show you. We got a couple of fingerprints. Hey, I haven't seen this that this bank. I, I haven't seen that this bank take us for dog bites. Bastards. I shouldn't have died, ja Jacqueline. Let's send this prank you quickly to Alex. Oops, sorry. This place is really dirty. People really shouldn't be doing this. 
And looks like we might have our murder weapon. Bingo, you just got you got good out of our vision, Jacqueline. I just hope this I just hope the the test proves that this gun is our murder weapon. Else we got we just got in wet for nothing. Yeah, in dirty polluted water. Bleh. And I guess that's all we're recording for today. Alright, so our results are in. Let's stop the big gun. Alright, I compared the bullet from that gun to the one I found inside Ed's body. And it looks are clear. This is your murder weapon. As where it belongs to you, someone has tried to file off the gun's serial number, but you might be able to complete it. Good thing you got nine stars! Well, Jacqueline, you got good instincts. The prints on your bank ticket are, are, matched to, are matched with Ed's. So, Ed did gamble. Fuck, I can't believe this. We need to find. We need to figure out who took this from him. Who took his bets? I'm one step ahead of you. This bookmaker was Freddie Whitmore. We'll talk with the guy first. That's. He looks like a tough nerd. Fuck! And he's dead. Yes, and he found his his betting ticket on on his dead body. We don't give a shit about your scam, but tell us about what you know. Tell us what you know about Ed. Straight to the point. I like that. Ed bet we'll stand a dog fight, but he kept other cops off my back. I, and I made sure he didn't lose too often. What does that mean? He's the third person to tell us Ed was bent was as bent as they come. We can't we cannot ignore this any longer. Let's go back to Ed's, Ed's desk. Is there any truth to what our suspects claim? There should be some proof in, of it there. First things first. Getting that serial number. Great job as always, Jacqueline. Let's go near serial number to Alex. We may be close to find out who our killer is. And while Alex is going to can our serial number, we are going to get some more info. Someone's in the holiday spirit. Yes, you can get a monkey in the game, but I'm not sure if it's like a Petunity is real currency for it or some yep, in game currency. So small drawing. I think I'm just having one of those days where you can't find stuff. And I think I got some family over. We have to hurry this up. Where's the ghost hint? There it is. Duh. So now I got this phone number was given to Ed by his wife. Let's check its owner down. And you're right, Jacqueline. We should probably have a look at the contents of that drawer, too.
this phone number has been analyzed, so let's see how are. I'm also got like a giant lollipop that I've been working on since summer. I just for keep I just kept forgot I just kept forgetting I put it in my purse, so I got it out of my purse. And if you hear me looking, that's what I'm looking on. That sounded so weird. And we got some cigarettes. We found a cigarette packet in Ed's drawer? That is strange. My room, you like smokers are polluting its fucking air. And there's something written on the inside. Warehouse 10 p.m. Warehouse 10, 4 p.m. Wait, this all sounds familiar. I know! That's how that's how that scum angel gives his customers the place and time of his dog fights. Can't talk with Angel. Hey Martinez. I forgot what accent I gave him. Let's get to the chase. We found a place in time for the next dog fight in Ned's desk. That's surprising because, for fuck's sake, Ed loves those fights. Of course he had the info. Well, then, maybe he was starting to lose interest, so he killed him before he became a problem. I hated that bastard, I'll grant you that. I bent cop a silk up, but kill him? I had nothing to gain from that. Are you sure? Well, guess that's it. Heck is going on here. Crying up loud. Okay, so the sub is ready. Yes, quick time maybe I see you. So let's do this. Let's start with the gun. I got good news and bad news. Which one do you want first? Let's have the good news first for a change. Found your serial number. The bad news is the gun was Ed's, which means the killer was clever enough to use a weapon we could never we could never trace back to him. Son of a calm down. I have a chill pill. Do you know the pill do you have all the pills? Do you have one of the strips? It you just put it on your tongue, it dissolves. That's a nice little bit to do. Okay, now for this thing. This is so easy, it's almost boring. The phone number you found on Ed's desk points to straight, points straight to one of Zeus's call girls. Wait, why would Ed have a call girl's number? Jacqueline, I think Zeus is due for another interrogation. So I'm bringing back this cheese ball voice. See, all those are telling truth after all. Yes, that phone number was given to Ed by one of my girls. You think? She thinks he's getting you off the hook. You've got another. If you think he's getting you off the hook, you've got another thing coming, Zeus. Did Ed start wanting more? Was he hurting the girls? Is this why you decided to get rid of him? Nah, I'd rather kill myself than kill Ed. He was the only reason my girls weren't being busted by the rest of you. I remember when Ed. Became a copier. We always went on and on about our duty and how the law must be upheld. I guess that, I guess when good men fall, they fall hard. But you won't make me believe that Harry had no idea about all this. Harry, what do you have to say? Let's see. Six three. He's a man. Blue eyes, and he has a bruise. He's starting to look like our, our main suspect. So if Ed was in top of the month, so what? Are you trying to ruin Ed's reputation or find his killer? Hey, dude, this stuff happens. Are you seriously t telling me that you thought knowing Ed about Ed's accomplices didn't matter? Get a grip, Harry. And besides, this is just dirty fanged. Ed's got a family. I didn't want him to think of him as a bad man, a cheater. He was my best friend. Then why didn't you stop him? Just want to get her. I tried, but he wouldn't listen. He never, ever listened. Oh man, I hate people like that. And that was a good time to stop recording.